So I'm hearing gunshots, we, they were exchanging gunshots. Monday night, 19th December 2022, a joint operation by police and its sister agencies killed two suspected allied Democratic Forces fighters and ammunition recovered in Matuga, Wakiso district. The intelligence knows they were holding some guns. Accordingly, the duo was part of the seven rebels fighters who had sneaked into the country and started carrying out surprise attacks. They managed to round them up in Matuga and during the raid there was a, a fierce exchange of gunfire that took place, which led to the uh, killing or putting out of action of uh, uh, two ADF terrorists who recovered two guns and explosives. Moments later, another pair of suspected allied Democratic Forces fighters have been killed in Interogo district. On yesterday, the 20th, five of the remnants were sighted. The first information from the Wanaichi, they thought this was a new invasion. But when we reached there, we got in contact with them. Two were put of action. An operation conducted in Chapa village, Wairamule, Sabu County, in Taroko district on the night of Tuesday, 20th December 2022. Three rebels managed to flee, but two of their colleagues were shot dead by UPDF. But before they died, they told us they came on the 13th with others. According to local authorities, the duo is part of a group that attacked in Taroko district on 13th December 2022. Recovered two solar panels from them, uh, a walkie-talkie, wires which they make to make bombs, and phones. There are three entered in Echitogo, which is a papyrus swamp near River Swim Ridge, and up to now we are still seeing it. In a Tuesday, 20th December 2022, televised address to the nation, President Yuri Kakuta Museven warned those intending to sabotage the country's security to surrender or die. My advice to them is get out and surrender either to the Congo Army or to, the, to, to our units which are there. Or, 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 or it's, it is easier to surrender to, or to the UN, doesn't matter. But get out. If you don't get out, you, you, you will die. That is the third point. Number one, Ugandans, be assured there is not, no threat which we cannot handle. Number two, be vigilant. Number three, you, the terrorists, get out and stop making endangering people's lives and endangering your own lives. Robert Nyango, UBC News.